Right, so me, Roll School, playing Grazar, released in 1987 um, by Konami and published by Ocean Software. And it's for the Cellic Spectrum 48k version. Um, never played the 128. I might have done, but I don't remember it. But I remember the 48k version. Had no music during the um, during the actual game. But I think the 128k did. I can't 100%, but we might get around to playing that soon. Um, little story behind this game. First time I saw it was in the arcades, and not an arcade, but a fish bar arcade. So me and my mum was walking, get some fish and chips for dinner, and might have noticed, but there's an arcade at the back, and it, you know the arcades were sort of growing in these places like news agents, um, video shops, fish shops, places like that between like the late 80s anyway around my area so I looked up and I saw my I saw um, I saw my, one of my old school friends in there his older brother playing it and he was playing two player and everyone was just watching you know every it was just the atmosphere in this look in this little fish bar it was just amazing it was and when they were started playing it and you know it's just it was just mad so I got it for the spectrum and we haven't played this for a while, a long while, but we're going to give it a go. So it's all, everything's all set up. You do use the space bar to jump, exactly the same as the C64. So as I said, I think in that video, the way I was sitting is awkward for me to uh, hit the space and not jog the camera. So probably going to die a lot. So naught to start the game. So you start off, obviously it's this game's only uh, only one player. And we start off when you've got multiple weapons, and already I can see some difference. But I'm not here to compare games. I'm just here to play, play them. I could have jumped then, but I had to take the finger off the fire button and move me hand to to jump. So it is awkward, and it's better to have an auto fire one as well because if I take it off, that's holding down the fire button. You gotta keep jabbing the fire. So if you've got auto fire, it will help out a lot. It will. So so far, it's not too bad. It isn't. It is pretty straightforward to the uh I'm gonna die here. Oh it is pretty straightforward than the um C sixty four. The C sixty four does rec recommend well it does see the arcade more but I say it's very awkward with with the space bar and jumping I thought I disappeared then but it is fairly oh you go I see I've dodged the camera I did there if I hit trying to jump and I think with this all you've got to do is just fire like that and it's done you know it, 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 it is crazy and then it asks for for a tape so I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back again. So push any key. So now we're um, on this. This doesn't look too bad. This doesn't. I don't know 100% if it was multi reload. The good thing is it said like press stop on the tape, which is good because it doesn't just launch you straight back into the game. Unfortunately, the loading wasn't great, but because it took about three minutes or something to, to load up. And we're missing the sound. I don't know if it had sound here, it should do. Do I have to lay down there, don't I? No, don't say that's it. Game over, okay. No, don't say he's gonna start. Push two, now yeah, I'm gonna continue. One. I was gonna say five lives, that's pretty good. So hopefully we can get off this level. But I think I do need to jump. And that is quite irritating that he's with to jump because it's on the space bar. Could have avoided that and that one but see if we've got enough lives to uh i just don't think we will hopefully we get another continue but yeah basically what you got to do here is just shoot that laser 
to let you through the gate well that magnetic field okay and that one there you've got to lay down there hopefully we we'll get that before that that laser comes down and you've got 25 seconds left so i probably do need to, to come on is that it base okay now it's a boss bit i think you have to shoot these well, it's further i've got than the uh than the 64 version these Gutted about the sound though, while that didn't load. One more. Some of you guys might remember this is uh, as Contra. I think it was released for the Super NES and the uh, NES as well. So you might remember it from there. Right, that's. Uh, it wouldn't fire up. Wasn't sure about that. Okay, then I'm going to have to jump. And you can't fall back down. Okay, maybe you're going to continue. Okay, we're going to continue. I can't see one. Okay, let me just make sure I get one because one's really close to two. Oh no, back here again. So obviously you need to have your full set of lives to uh, to go to the next sort of stage, really. So obviously the further you get into the game, at least it isn't it didn't load the tape back again which is quite good because that, that waiting wasn't too bad it wasn't that was lucky because I thought I was going to get sat then oh, I don't know if I need that top one first oh come on don't I think I'm going to get I have just about made that one But yeah, definitely need to to jump. I'm just trying to think of a way how to uh, how to use the the jump. I thought I, was, oh, I made that just by jumping. Oh, not this boss again. Right, another continue. I hope. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna give it one more go. And if the camera moves, it's because I've hit in, hitting the space bar. Hopefully, I might get a bit further with that. So this is how I would play generally with the uh, the joystick on the desk. And die! I don't know, die! I didn't see that. Again. Come on. I can't remember what one you had to shoot. Obviously, it's the right hand side. So that was round. So. Still, Mr. Fire. I'm doing rubbish this go by having the joystick on the desk. And again. Gonna have one more go. We are. Right, one. It's a shame, I was going to say, also, it's a shame this never got released on the Amiga. It would have been great to see this. Probably wouldn't have been exactly the same in the arcade, like, for the early, early Amiga games. But it would have been nice to have this, like, in, like, 16-bit sort of thing. And just have to sort of pull from that. There's three other Spectrum games that I wish got moved up, ported over to, that, to the Amiga as well, but... I've got to have enough time. Yeah, I've got enough time. I ain't doing too bad this go. It's a shame. As I said, it was saying, it's a shame about the sound, really. No life's gone so far. And it's, just, it's just a boss. I might actually do alright on this go. Oh, that was close. last one in that blue ball that was going up and down it's not giving me a sharp chance a couple of shots there that's it right this is the bit where I need the space bar isn't it 
because <coughs> you're going up. I'll just look where the bullets are going. Right, what's going on here? This is going to be sort of awkward. So I'm using a joystick with a left hand at the moment. No, not from the bottom. Okay, that's brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, leg it. Oh, okay, I thought I'd end up dying there. They look like something out of Star Wars, don't they? Them, these things. Can I shoot him from up here? Right down here? No, I'm going to have to go up. Right, I'm going to see if I can ignore him. I can't remember if there was a boss here or not. One life left. Jump. Is that it? Yeah, I thought it was a boss. Take it, well, take it, you have to shoot. I was going to say shoot that middle bit there. Yeah, it's open up now. It's a big sprite. There he is. Did I die or did I shoot him? One life. I must have shot him. I must have killed him. Definitely going to die here. <laughs> but at least we got a bit further into the game and got the boss. I don't know if you can... No, I wasn't sure if you can jump them or not. Oh, no, I got a bit further in that in that part. All right, then one more continue. I got it right. So I'm not sure if this is back where I just was. No, I think this is right at the beginning, so I think I've got to kill that boss again. I think, because it was a lot more difficult, this bit. But yeah, a little bit, say, what well, I say, annoyed replaying this now, whether or not it had sound. It should do. Unless it just didn't load. There was an error when I was loading up the, um, on the multi-loader, when it, it said, like, load, because I missed the first bit of the actual um, tape, and I pushed play, and it said, like, tape error. But I rewound it, and then, um, Carried on, yeah. We round it to the beginning, we're well, to the beginning, and I managed to get get it going. All right, still got four lives. This is definitely the last go on this. I want to kill that boss, but yeah, the first level. Oh, I thought I would have dodged that one. First level was a was okay. It was. I mean, as I said, I'm not comparing anything. But I can, with no music here, it's sort of, I, I don't know, it's not letting the game down because I swear it had something, but it was still at the 128k to play. So hopefully that can do. That can, oh no. I shouldn't have died there. Game over. Well, I'm going to leave it there. That was crazy on the Sedex Spectrum. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's been fantastic playing these old games again. Well, the Spectrum, it has. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.